So I just get uh, finished recapping the uh, Spectrum, the one that came in that DK Tronics uh, case, and uh, as you've seen, it works. So I bought my capacitor kit from Retro Computer Shack. Um, I've used these guys numerous times before buying cables from them, but they've started doing capacitor kits. But you can see there, it actually includes a new voltage regulator. So I've installed that as well, and I actually put a little bit of uh, thermal compound, uh, uh, Arctic Silver, put a little bit of that in there, just to help transfer the heat. So yeah, went, everything went according to plan. Um, what I actually did was, instead of trying to desolder the capacitors, um, I snipped the legs off first. So I just snipped both sides and then desoldered the legs one at a time. I found that a bit easier. Um, yes, yeah, so as you've seen, it's uh, still working. So I have my two broken spectrums here. Um, from previous videos so this one here is the one that was uh, meant to be my restoration project so this one is dead but the keyboard is confirmed working on this definitely works and this is the one that was sent to me um, which is a 16k model which has bad RAM but I'm not sure if the keyboard works in this one but this one is in far better condition than the other one. So I'm going to recase this motherboard with a combination of bits from these two. Uh, hopefully the keyboard works in this one. It means you can just swap it in. I don't have to worry about trying to get the, the faceplate off and the membrane out and stuff. So I'll do that now. Um, get this thing in the proper spectrum case. And... It will be my main uh, spectrum for using. I do have a working spectrum, but it's a uh, very nice condition in its box. So I'm going to keep it for Sunday best, as the saying goes. Um, and this will be my main one because, uh, like I showed in my previous video, everything on this board is socketed. So it will be nice uh, if something goes wrong with it in the future. It'll be a nice easy swap, changing the RAM or whatever ha whatever goes on it. So I'm also going to put some heat sinks on this, on the uh, ULA and the processor here. But the processor has the, I believe this is called the Dead Cockroach uh, mod. It's, it's from the, a factory mod basically. So I can't really put... Uh, heat sinks over the die in the centre here because that's in the way so I'll figure something out I might just leave it just put one or a couple on the ULA alright so I have the untested keyboard here just uh, plugged into the top of the motherboard here so we can check to see if it works I have uh, <laughs> this is the power supply that came out of the DK Tronics case so it's uh, Sitting there, um, I need to try and stay away from it. It's not actually plugged in at the minute, but uh, yeah, I don't want to touch that. Um, I also did the composite mod in this, so I'll plug it in here. If I can do that with one hand. I'll just turn the camera off while I do it. Okay, it's uh, plugged in. So... See if any of the keys work. Okay, number five works. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Keyboard's dodgy. Okay. Numbers one to five work and nothing else works. So uh, I'll fart about with the cables here and see if we can get this working any better. Otherwise we're going to have to uh, mess about with the faceplates here. 
Okay, so it's quite a few hours later. Um, I had to basically leave this for a lot, a lot of hours, just as life takes over as usual. But uh, what I have done is I used the case and the keyboard uh, rubber and the faceplate are from the 16K Spectrum, which had the dead RAM. And the membrane is from the other spectrum, the one that I was trying to restore. So I managed to get this uh, all together. And if you can see that there on the flickering screen, uh, all the keys are working. So that's it. I just really need to put this thing back together again. Um, I have a power supply if I can reach it here I'll just show you in there in this bag there's the power supply which came off the spectrum that I was trying to restore but it has no plug on the end of it um, there it is there so yeah, the plug's missing off the end of it if you remember Back from that spectrum, this was actually soldered straight to the board and the socket and all was missing off that. Um, there and there, you can see the, the socket's missing off the board and those wires were just soldered straight to it. So I'm going to use that power supply um, to power this. I have a brand new socket to go on it here, which I bought. A while ago when I was planning on restoring that spectrum. So that's going to go on to the end of that power supply. That means I don't have to use uh, this dangerous one here. There's all the leftover bits, <laughs> uh, all the old capacitors, the old voltage regulator, the legs of the new capacitors and loads of leftover solder that come out of my solder sucker. Yeah, what a mess. I threw that all in the bin now. Eh? So I'm using this bottom half of the case. It's from the Spectrum that I tried to restore and I picked this one because it has more rubber feet left on it than the other one does. That's uh, the only reason I picked it. So, get this in here. The keyboard is still attached. Okay, I'm going to unplug the keyboard. So we can see what I'm doing. Okay, stick a little screw in there to hold the motherboard in. Okay, so when I was buying all the other bits, the plug and stuff for the other spectrum, I handily bought a couple of extra rubber feet. And there's three rubber feet on this one and one missing up here. So luckily I have a spare. Or two. <laughs> so, uh, try and scrape that remaining rubber stuff off. There we go. Come off all right. I'll give it a little wipe over with uh, the isoprop here. That means that uh, we'll have the best possible surface to stick to. Ok, 
Okay, Let's let that dry for a couple of seconds. It's actually uh, quite mild as a problem using there, so it's mostly water. <laughs> so it takes a while for it to dry. I have a bit of uh, kitchen towel here. Just to help it along. It's possibly higher than all the rest of them because it's new and the other ones are worn. So yeah, that's fine. Doesn't rock about, so yep. I just need to give this thing a final clean and polish. And that's it done. This uh, membrane, or the faceplate, does have a few marks and dings in it. But like I said, this is going to be my main unit that I'm going to use. So it doesn't need to be mint. It needs to work perfectly. Um, so that's the main goal is to get it working. Okay, well, I'll leave it here. That's it. I have... Uh, Recapped a new voltage regulator uh, and made the case and the membrane up from the two dead spectrums that I had and repaired the power supply and that's it uh, and a working spectrum so that's two working spectrums I have now and then I have a bag over there with uh, bits which will hopefully bring some other spectrums back to life at some future point. So I'll just finish off with some uh, nice pictures of this thing here. Hope you enjoyed watching guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.